Washington. All right, we're now joined by our local political analyst, David Yonkai, from the LULAC Political Letter to break it all down for us. Always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Thank you. All right, let's talk about everything that happened today. Of course, Pennsylvania going red for the first time since 1988, a huge part in uh, the effort that got Trump elected. But you see, there's still that divide out there. Not everyone on board. Did you hear his speech try to heal that divide a little bit? Well, today? right. Basically, the speech was a combination of his campaign as long as well as his vision for America. And I think it's very important for a president to have a vision for America, and he certainly has that. The one thing that struck me was he kept on using the word disarray. And that bothered me a little bit because when you talk about disarray, a inauguration day is a day that basically celebrates America and basically gives people the right to protest. We've never had in our 240 year history an overthrow. We had a peaceful transition. So when he says disarray, Mm -hmm. That's not disarray, okay? But he did point to a lot of good things that he wanted to do for the American people. You know, Republicans are arguing right now that health care is in disarray, health care dominating the national conversation. I want to put up some numbers right here just to give some context uh, about health care in Pennsylvania. Since the Affordable Care Act went into effect back in 2010, you have more than 600 thousand Pennsylvanians that have gotten coverage, uh, more than 260 through Medicaid, about 400 through the healthcare.gov marketplace. Going forward, did you hear anything in the speech today about what's going to happen as far as repeal and replace, or is this still something uh, too much up in the air? Here? This is going to be a major issue for him because basically right now, people say that entitlement is a di dirty word, mm -hmm. but people are getting this health care right now. And to not have anything to replace it is going to be a disaster for the Republican Party. The Republican Party Congress wants to get rid of the um, incentive where you had to actually pay uh, to get into health care. Like, in other words, like you had to uh, pay a fine if you didn't uh, take the health care. That actually funds the program. You can't get rid of that and then try to replace it with something because you won't have funding. Have to keep the bad to uh, have the good in there as Exactly, well, right? and that's going to be one of the biggest things he's uh, going to be faced with, and he, so far he's been giving general, general relations on that. You know, the inauguration can be such a great time to make that final pivot from being a candidate to being the President of the United States. Do you think now President Trump was successful in that goal today? He did. His, his, the people who are against him are going to say that he didn't, but I think that he, it was a strong speech. I think that he talked about, um, you know, America being first, but he's going to have to deal with a global economy, global countries who are going to have a say in that, and also a Congress that basically has their own interests. So it made a good start. Good start for him, but he has to stay off Twitter. All right, David. Well, that's yeah, so some good advice there, I guess. Really, I think. Right. All right. Well, thank you for coming in so much. Uh, if someone wants to go to the uh, Lulac Political Letter, how can they follow? Lulac Political Letter. Blogspot. Com. Always a pleasure. Thanks for giving us your time today. All right, we're going to check in with me.